My name is Rhapsody, and what? Oh, well, actually, my name is apparently Ace. And <laughs> welcome back to Yu Gi Oh! Jewels of the Roses. Okay, well, we've just defeated St. Albans, which uh, his name is Darkness Ruler. Ugh. Rex Raptor, we've also defeated. Uh, we could now go to Ton Toe Town and verse Keith. Uh, but I'm not particularly. I'm, I'm not particularly interested in that plan. I want to get some more plants and put them in my deck. I might have to use a uh, unlock code in order to get one of them. In fact, I might use an unlock code to get a few of the different cards that are particularly strong individually, but also some plants to put in my deck. Because unlocking them manually can be so frustratingly slow. I mean, I've got all these rocks in my deck. I wish all of those were grass cards. And unfortunately, it's going to take a while before I fight an opponent that has grass cards. This guy is mostly insects. He has a few grass cards. Hopefully, plant cards, I mean. Hopefully, you play some of those. Um, alright. Just so that it doesn't merge. Okay, this guy. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, no. No, I screwed up. I screwed up. I made a stone ghost somehow. He's very specifically trying to make the magical ghost. Oh, well... Is there a bright side here? Fuck it, this makes the magical ghost. Actually... Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna put the dimension hole down and then I'm gonna put the phantom ghost on top of it. So that I can put the Akiyatsu... Akikiyasu? to the left in order to merge it, which means that I get to throw away, basically, the Dimension Hole for free. Dimension Hole, by the way, is a spell. You trigger it on a certain area, and then your deck leader teleports to that area. It's not particularly strong. Yeah, this is the problem with fighting this guy. You really need a strong opening, because he'll go trap into creature often. So I can tell you, this card is going to be useless, you know, in this fight. But it did mean that he could get out this motherfucker stupidly early. Um, okay, so I need to start moving... I mean, I can make the creature I want to make, but it'll die. Okay. I'm gonna do it this way. I actually tr probably should have trashed some cards while I was doing that. So this is Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. This is what my whole deck is based around, right? And this is the third match, and we're actually finally getting to cast one. Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. Zombie, it starts initially at 1800, to, uh, 2000, right? So that's, that's a really good stat base. But, special info. Nature effect. While this card is face up in the defense position, all zombie monsters are increased by 100 points at the start of each turn. So it gets more powerful, and it makes the rest of my deck more powerful every single turn. Now that might seem, oh, 100 points, that's not actually stupid significant, especially if you're going to be casting a card and then having it engage in combat, like, almost immediately after. You're correct, it doesn't sound super significant. Until you have three of them on the field at the same time. Then, things start to become a little more <coughs> significant, shall we say. Um... I actually can't cast anything this turn. So the problem with playing slow against Weevil here is his whole deck is about waiting until he can get uh, this egg card, basically. And then at a certain point, he'll use the egg card and it kind of just hibernates in the corner for a while until it becomes the perfectly great moth and it's huge and destroys everything. So I want to throw away a lot of cards here, so I'll throw this, this, and this. That's, that's absolutely fine. So this will summon the Great Mammoth Goldfine, who is face down. It is stronger than the Hunter Spider, I just have to hope that this card isn't uh, QE Grimore, or... I can't remember the name of the card, but there, there is a specific insect card that will be powerful enough to kill my Great Mammoth of Goldfine at this point. So since we're both in attack position, I get to attack back after hitting, after being hit, sorry. Oh, excellent. So now I know it's either not a monster card, or it is a monster card, but it's also not powerful enough to kill it. 
Interestingly enough, Pumpkin also powers up himself. So if you can get a few Pumpkins out... Yeah. I'll let you finish that sentence in your own head. Although, be sure to include the word wet orgasm. The words, rather, both. Necessary. <clears throat> I somehow happened upon this strategy when I initially got this game, and it's just, it's the most effective. Really, it is. Uh... Okay, so I'm going to cast another Great Mammoth of Goldfine, but I'm going to do it in a convoluted way. So, Winged Beast, Dragon, Warrior, and then the Warrior goes down, but... Okay, the problem is, if Warrior goes down and then I put a Dinosaur down, it will come Sword, Arm of Dragon. Uh, but if I put Warrior down and then I put Zombie down, it'll be... Actually, this is the way I want to do it. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. <clears throat> so the Mammoth Graveyard just needs to kill this. Excellent. And then the Shadow Ghoul plus Mammoth Graveyard become another Great Mammoth of Goldfine. This is a particularly interesting combo in the deck, and it's going to carry us through the early game until we get enough combo triggers to consistently create the Pumpkin King of Ghouls. I've had games where I've just turtled while I have, you know, like five Pumpkin King of Ghouls. <laughs> and then every turn, each of them get more powerful by 500 points. And then you just turtle up, and then you have five creatures with 9999 attack and 9999 defense, and it becomes absurd. This is probably a, a, a trap, so I'll move my weak one first. Oh, it's a dungeon worm. Oh shit, it's a dungeon worm. Excellent. Both of us die, at the very least. What's the dungeon worm's special? Special info, can move into Labyrinth Squares. Okay, that's fine. I might actually want to try and grab that out of my opponent's uh, graveyard if I can. Ooh, warrior, Machine. Okay, so I'm going to put Machine and then Warrior down, and then I'm going to put the Violet Crystal down. And the reason I'm doing this is because the Violet Crystal won't buff it, so it'll actually kill the Cyber Warrior. And then I can move it to the side to put it onto my Great Mammoth of Goldfine. The Great Mammoth of Goldfine should also still have a move left. Yeah, it totally does. Excellent. I just want to stop uh, Weevil's main character, the basic insect here, from kind of protecting itself in the corner, because if it does that, it's going to start creating the perfectly great moth that I was talking about not wanting to see. Okay, Hunter Spider's dead. So many Hunter Spiders! Ugh. The Hunter Spiders have become the Prey Spiders. I tried. Ooh, Snake Yashi. Excellent. Snake Yashi by itself is actually strong enough to merge with Dorokizu uh, in order to create another Pumpkin. But if I cast the Dragon Zombie this turn or Dorokizu, I'm not going to have enough to cast Snake Yashi next turn. So I can't cast anything if I want to cast another Pumpkin. That's unfortunate, just off by one summoning point. Hmm. Could I win this turn? Hmm. I would have to draw... Oh, no, wait, I can't draw. Right, because, yeah, I didn't actually have a draw step. Okay. Um. I'll... So I'm going to trash that, trash that, use that, and then merge it with that. <clears throat> Welcome back! Pump King, the King of Ghosts! Uh, and Pumpkin the King of Ghosts single-handedly is going to be the biggest reason that we are going to fight the Undertaker, uh, sorry, Necromancer a multiple of times. Because the Necromancer uses Pumpkin the King of Ghosts as its deck leader, and we can earn Pumpkin from fighting it. So we're just going to do that again and again, and hopefully we end up with about three or four Pumpkins, and then we'll put them in our deck as our high end. Uh, looks like we just need a zombie out. So, Aqua, Machine, and then I'll cast a Zombie Warrior. I'm actually going to put that in defense. That's just to protect my face while I kind of maraud the opponent here. 
Every single turn, my Great Mouth Goldfine is getting 200 points stronger in attack and defense. And, interestingly enough, so are both of my pumpkins. That's probably the thing of huge import here. The pumpkins are my backup strategy. They're getting significantly stronger just while I wait. I don't have to do anything. So if I move there, it moves down. You know what? I actually have to just kill some of its cards. Fuck. That's, uh, <clears throat> that's a card that infinitely spellbinds. For three turns. It infinitely spellbinds for three turns. My apologies. Uh, it does it for three turns. But infinitely spellbinds for three turns. Um, I'm going to break the curse and then cast the magical ghost. Curse breaker cancels power ups and power downs on creatures. But, I mean, we're not... We don't want to cancel our own power-ups. Our opponent hasn't used any power-ups, and we haven't got any power-downs on our creatures. Yeah. I guess the problem here is if I actually was to use... Oh, hey, my Magical Ghost should actually get... No, it won't. It'll be one shot. If we were supposed to use the Curse Breaker to break Spellbind on my Great Mammoth of Goldfine, uh, it would do it, I think. But it would also lose, uh, what, 1600 attack stat? Yeah, and it would take a long time to get over there as well. These zombie insects. You know what? I'm gonna actually drop Yami. And I'll drop Yami here. Because really, all I need to do is keep myself alive. And if my opponent's creatures can't get to me, I've effectively kept myself alive. Okay. <clears throat> Feel quite alive as a result of that attack. Aw, oh, man. How dare you. Hey, at least it didn't hit my Great Mammoth Goldfine again. Mm -hmm. And also, I've still got a zombie card in hand in order to combo with the next plant I draw. Never mind all of that silence and noise. I was just adjusting my seating position. Still spellbound for another two turns. Dear God. Bladefly actually doesn't do anything to us. Oh, spellbounds us for one turn. Spellbounds us. Binds us. There we go. Uh, Sword of Dark Destruction Warrior cards. Eh? Uh, fuck that. Um, these are all kind of trash. You know what? I want to dig for combo cards so badly that I'm actually just going to straight up throw these cards out of my hand. So Dorokizu might become stronger as a result of all of the pumpkins on the field. Look at all that fucking spellbinding. God damn. Usually you don't see this many spellbinds in a game. But I guess two infinite dismissals and then one attack in the wrong direction will do that. Oh no. Oh, it's on the wrong square. That's that's frustrating. Okay. Oh, God damn it. I'm gonna throw them out. I just need plant cards. That's all I need. Plant cards in this game is over. And unfortunately, I have five minions on the field. But so many of them are frozen. They're just not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Come on, be kind. Oh, that's gonna. Yeah. If only she was still on Yami Terratane. Terratane. Wow, territory. I think I was trying to say terrain and territory, and I terratained. Mm -hmm. 
What are the chances I have lethal this turn? I mean, Pumpkin King of Ghosts can safely attack... Ooh, unless that's a... C no, but it can't be because that moved there. Okay. I can safely attack the Hercules Beetle. The Hercules Beetle is going to be 2,000. I'll only be 2,700. So I'll do 700 points of life. Yeah, I don't have enough buffs. Holy shit, do I just straight- I have no cards left in my deck. I have only two fucking things in my deck? I only have two plants in my entire deck. This is trash. Able to move a tree. I'll move that there, hopefully to bait and attack from here. When did that happen? Ran out of my whole deck. Dear God. Anyway, we have such strong creatures on the field. There's... Oh, I want to say literally no way that we can lose. But I also know that that's a fallacy. It could happen. It's just very, very unlikely. Goodbye, Hercules Beetle. So I can kind of just chase him around right now. Four minions on the field. I'm gonna move here and then I'm gonna cast this guy. Because he's gonna be strong in the other terrain. Oh no! Uh oh. Did I just... Did I just kill myself? Hang on. That Hercules beetle can run directly into my face. Alright, I have to move here. That Hercules Beetle could have attacked me directly in the face and I would have taken 1,500 points of damage. Yeah, that could have been bad. The difference between my opponent and I in this match is I'm destroying all of my cards and my opponent's cards. I'm the only one actively contributing to deaths here. Okay. Now, I knew uh, if that was a trap that I wasn't going to trigger it, because uh, that's the secret ability. Movement. Able to move and attack without triggering an opponent's trap. Excellent. Come get some, Hercules. Hey, you ain't no match for Pump King, the King of Ghosts. Ooh. Just sacrificed one of his own cards. God oh, damn it. Okay, move there. I can't tell if those are going to be stronger than mine. In fact, I'm almost certain they are going to be stronger than mine. So I'm going to move my guy into defense. And I don't know what that is. So I'm going to put down the class crown and put it in defense. I'll also move back because if I move to the left in front of Pumpkin, then this can hit me if it has the terrain bonus of forest and almost all of the basic insect cards do. Dear God, is this the first match we've played? It's almost 19 minutes. I'll have to get another one in as well. Nightmare Scorpion. Spellbinds on flip up. Only for one turn, luckily. Ha! Spell card. Okay. There's a spell card as well. Dear God, all these spell cards. So now we can start to see that my opponent is, uh... <clears throat> fuck, seven, wa seven ways from hell. I mean, look at this. Nothing my opponent has at this point can stop me. No power in the verse can stop me. And we are moving into Surround.
You're not gonna cost anything? What? Insanity! You can see, the strategy works well. I mean, all we have to do is get two of them out and that's it. Game over, well played. Okay. So now, unless this card prevents my movement in some fashion, um, then I'll definitely be able to surround my opponent here. Okay. Perfect. Move that across there, move this up here, and done! Game over! <laughs> We're gonna be ending a lot of games like that, but, um, when we start getting more Pumpkin Kings of Ghosts, uh, a lot of our games will end in not only direct attacks, but having a creature so overpowered that when it attacks a creature, it deals more than 4,000 points of damage to the opponent. Uh, it really doesn't matter what we get from here. Oh, hey, Infinite Dismissal. That's actually probably the best card we could have gotten. <sighs> That match took way longer than it needed to. Alright, Weevil. Get the fuck out of my face. This also unlocks one of the most interesting fights. Pegasuses. In the Toon World. Hmm, little Yugi. That kind of bullshit. Alright, so we need to be lower than... I think it's 795. Yeah, it totally is. Hey! Could have saved there if I'd liked. Okay. <clears throat> I just gotta take something super powerful out of my deck, so let's sort by deck cost. Curse Breaker is the cheapest, I guess. Great Mammoth Gold Find. Take a Skullbird out and put a Fake Trap in, and we are definitely under the limit. Told you. It's easy as that. I wonder who I'm gonna be able to verse to get more plant based creatures. Hmm. I might just verse this guy a bunch and just. As I said, versus Guy a bunch, take his deck leader a number of times. The one problem is my strategy sucks against this guy. Why? Well, I think you'll find out. I'm gonna trash my whole opening hand. It, actually, no, I'll say it. It sucks against this guy because. He's a zombie. All of his creatures are zombies. Anytime I have a pumpkin out, it will power up all of his zombies. Don't run forward twice. Okay, okay, this is lovely. Since he power increased it, I know it has to be a, a, a minion. Um, and if it kills my minion, oh, lovely. If it kills Fiend's hand, when destroyed in battle, it destroys the opposing monster as well, so that's a great opening for us if we can take two of his power-ups out of the game immediately. <laughs> that's a very powerful Yoranzo that just died. That's the huge strength of power-ups. You basically get to have, like, a really, really strong opener because, you know, spells don't cost anything. Uh, that needs to get out of my hand, that needs to get out of my hand, that needs to get out of my hand, and I'll play that. Oh, Lysark plus Cross Crown, like something? I did not know that. I'll keep that in mind for some other time. Hopefully we get to end this quick, otherwise there'll be like a Skeleton, and the Skeleton will have stuff, and it becomes annoying. Uh, wait, I move forward one and then- Oh, cool, I can get 1,700 points of damage in this turn. Move forward, cast in front of me. Any of these stronger? I mean, I could use the stone ghost. If I use Skull Stalker into stone ghost, I might cast only Musha, the warrior. Okay. Only Musha, the Rock Warrior. Oh, Minushi Warrior, sorry. What? No, I clicked up twice. Oh, my opponent should have 1,800 less life than they currently do. 
Oh, that's horrible. You know the worst thing about this? With four summoning points, if we did it correctly, we could have killed him this turn. Oh, wait, shit, we totally still can kill him this turn. Okay, move forward, unless this is a trap, obviously. Um, I hope it's not. Cast these to summon the Great Mount for gold fine. It gets buffed to 2700. Run in. <laughs> Told you it was going to be quick. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. And plus, there's only like two things in the graveyard. I mean, and the power-ups as well. So I might want to get some of the power-ups, but I definitely want to get Pumpkin. So, Pumpkin. No, that's your answer. Pumpkin. That's that's a power-up. Pumpkin. Damn it, it's Yoranzo again. No. Okay, I have to burst him again. I've got to get a Pumpkin. <laughs> I don't have an option. But... 26 minutes in, we're going to be versing him next episode. My name is Wien Rhapsody. The name of the game has been... Ugh, you'd be a fool if you thought you last seen the me. Seen the last of me. Whoops. <clears throat> Four wins and zero losses, anyway. Um, yeah, uh, we'll do that next episode. My name is Wien Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Yu-Gi-Oh! Jewels of the Roses. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It does help me get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content for Yu-Gi-Oh! Past, Present, and Future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.